So I kind of filmed this video before it came out that apparently it wasn't the actual MGUH, but instead it was a cylinder. But let's just all imagine it was the MGUH, which was the issue. So let's carry on with the normal video as planned. Charles Leclerc, everybody's new favourite, managed to secure pole in the 2019 Bahrain Grand Prix. But unfortunately, whilst he was leading the race, his MGUH worked absolutely fine. But what is an MGUH and how does it affect the car? Well, in this video, I'm going to be explaining just that in simple terms because it's a bit complicated. Let's get into it. So firstly, there's been some confusion online around the different MGUs, which is the MGUH and the MGUK, which are different components. The MGUK is something we saw last season with Daniel Ricciardo, who basically lost it during the race, but then still managed to win the race. The MGUK takes kinetic energy from braking and then stores that in the energy store, which is basically the car's internal battery. Then the MGUK can use the energy that's been stored and put it back into the drivetrain, giving you an extra around 160 brake horsepower. Then the MGUH, which we saw in the Bahrain race with Charles, is used to help combat turbo lag. And to help explain what turbo lag is, here's a quick TLDR about what a turbo is. So the turbo in an F1 car takes the bad exhaust gases coming out of the engine and spins a small turbine proper quickly. Then connected to that is a compressor which does the opposite and sucks in fresh new air and pumps it into the engine to give it clean air to burn more fuel, thus making the engine go quicker and getting the most out from your engine. So then as a result you get a thing called turbo lag, which is when you put your foot down to accelerate, but it takes some time for the airflow to speed up those turbines. And as they're connected, not only does it affect the air coming out of the engine, but also the new fresh air which is being compressed going into the engine. Still with me? Cool, let's carry on. The MGU has two main features, the first of which is a connection to the energy store to help half its energy for later use. The second main feature, which is predominantly its main feature, is just the reverse of that, of taking energy from the energy store, spinning up those turbines to go even quicker when accelerating, thus getting the most out of your turbine, thus getting the most out of your engine. And with Charles, his MGUH didn't fail and it was his cylinder, which saw him drop back six to seven seconds, where he was originally averaging 95, 96 seconds a lap to then going into 100 to 101 seconds per lap. Hope that makes sense and clears up some confusion, but if you want to watch some more Formula One videos, then you can click right here, or if you want to fully commit to my YouTube channel and watch more of my videos, then you can click right there. Or if you want to go one step further and follow me on Twitter, the link is the first link in the description down below. But thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.